I, I'm really loving this one. I'm feeling a little, I don't know. It's got like a kind of lightheaded thing happening. <laughs> so, I like that. That one was good. And now, let's see. What, oh. Smell familiar? Oh my God! <laughs> 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 uh, I'd recognize that smell anywhere. We'll be right back with Mr. Sheffield, Charles Shaughnessy. Stay tuned. Brighton, you're losing your touch. I'm Maxwell Sheffield. This is my son, the late Brighton Sheffield. Wait, I know you. Esquire magazine, New York's ten most eligible widowers? My condolences, by the way. Uh, you read Esquire? When they list the ten most eligible widowers, I do. <laughs> Hi, I'm Fran Fine. It took me five years to get this man in bed. I wasn't going to miss this opportunity. I was going to say, memories. Oh, memories. I know, I know. This is where we feel most comfortable, right, sweetie? That's true. <laughs> is this a regular segment, the bed? No, this is, you're, the the, first one. Fast, you're the first one to share my bed on the I... Fran Drescher talk show. <laughs> I feel very honored. Very honored. Uh, nice well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. It's a pleasure. I know. Absolute pleasure. I'm so happy that you're here. Didn't we have great times? Oh, I was looking at that. Can you can you imagine? That I know. Was... Now that was like what 17 oh, years ago. Long time, and I we know. haven't changed a <laughs> bit. <laughs> you know, I remember that that first uh, those first few days of that pilot were so special uh, in my not just my career but my life. And you know, one of the things that I was most impressed with. People ask me, what do you remember most about that time? And it was the fact that you took such care of us. Aww. You really did. We were like your soldiers, and we were all on this mission. And as you know, an army marches on its stomach. And Fran actually would bring in, she brought in this big pot of chili that she cooked at home on her own. Well, I'm not sure if she cooked, she had it cooked, to feed us this comfort food. And so I felt that I wanted to bring you a little present. Really? For your new show, because I felt like you oh, treated us so well. Oh. I think maybe the same should go here. Oh. So. It's a little prop up for the chili, so you can feed all oh, these no. wonderful food. I don't, I don't have one of these. There and you go. I was going to say to my crew that I haven't had an opportunity to feed them yet, though I intend to. There you go. So it's great I chili. Feel, really good, Highly I, recommend the chili. I do like the cup. Can someone take this? Yes. Here comes Peter. There isn't room in the bed for the Here three comes of us. Peter. <laughs> Uh, Peter was one of the executive producers on The Nanny and also my ex-husband, but that's for another segment. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, uh, and I remember the first time that uh, he auditioned for The Nanny, and he actually wanted to play kind of like the schlubby character who didn't, you know, have his act together and i said no 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 that's me i'm the <laughs> one from flushing queens you're the british aristocrat and so you know we kind of developed a relationship together that's and it true. was really really wonderful and um what what else do you recall about well i remember that day i remember that um it was raining and which oh, is very when rare. We did the pilot. It, when we, no, when we when I came to audition, I came to meet you that oh, first yeah, time. Oh yeah, and you were wearing those dorky galoshes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see, I figured a it was raining, and I don't like getting my socks wet. I don't mind it raining on my, you know, it's good for the hair and all that. But wet socks are just no fun. And so what I, do you call it in in, in, in British? Miserable. Uh, 
No, no, no. The wellies. Oh, they're wellies. Little yeah. yellow well. Well, they're not usually yellow. We These ended... are little boating wellies. Oh, and we ended up making a joke about it on the nanny because you did a whole episode with me and my wellies. We did a whole episode wellies. with you and your wellies, and I said, when did you turn into the Gorkins fisherman? That's right. <laughs> but you know, I think it was a very Maxwell thing to do. And very early on, you had said to me, you know, I think all you women are too obsessed with weight, and uh, I think that all women probably should be about ten pounds heavier than they are. And in that moment, my heart melted. <laughs> and I was his forever. <laughs> so now, you know, and all the kids are grown now. They are. So, grown, yeah, yeah, Nicole Tom, who uh, played Maggie, is doing great and working all the time. And Brighton, Ben, ben yeah. Salisbury, yeah, he's married and, you know, working huh. also. Where did the time it, go? But where did we go wrong with oh. little Gracie? Ay, vey. Ay, man. Gracie, what? She's the, yes, Madeline Zima is, uh, is, has been working on California. Oh. And and having very uh, I turned yeah, on the pilot by, vivid, by, by sex scenes. I happened to see the pilot and there was Gracie sitting astride David I, Duchovny. And my David first Duchovny. thought was it's all Fran's fault. I knew. I said I knew she was giving them too much rain. Uh, let's show a clip from when we got married on the nanny. Oh, man, I was so scared I was going to lose you. No, you're never going to lose me. I love you so much. I love you. Was it ever difficult for her? Because really, when the nanny was on, I mean, Miss Fine and Mr. Sheffield oh, was yeah. it. And did she ever feel like a third wheel? Well, you know what would happen is people would. It was a little hard for, her, but she got used to it. I'd I'd been on a, a well, soap for a long time. When she cast the paycheck. Right, exactly. <laughs> she was like, you know, every time there would be a kissing scene, she'd go and buy another coat, or another dress. <laughs> but the hard thing was when people would 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 sort of really feel no uh, no compunction at saying, you know, I. I wish you were married to Fran, not her. <laughs> but she was a good sport. She always, you know, very good sport. As you say, you know, was paying for the house that the nanny built. So. Yes, uh, that's true. But and for me, it was, you know, I just, I, I'd say, you know, girl. it's just work, honey. It's just work, you know. <laughs> As a special gift to our audience, we're giving everybody uh, year one. Uh, <laughs> DVD, you can get it at Amazon.com. Okay, coming up, Fran Fine had a Cinderella complex, but in real life, there are a lot of women just like her. And when we come back, you are going to meet an author who could shed some light on why it's so tough to meet Mr. Wright. Stay tuned.